Well, today, hundreds of Davis School District educators made their way through a pep rally of sorts. No, not for the students. This one's for them. Uh, rather, this is a new school year, new goals. This is to inspire these teachers, many of them brand new. Yeah, some of them are brand new teachers this year. New specialist Kara Bracken reports with a look at how the celebration unfolded, along with the district and the new teacher's outlook on the 2022-23 school year. Hundreds of new Davis School District educators welcome today in a new teacher orientation. Walking through those doors, welcome by cheerleaders, band, the whole works, hoping for a great school year. Drum roll, please. As Davis School District welcomes 300 new educators today and tomorrow. Very excited. It's our start to the year. All of this for our local educators who are taking on their first days of school soon too and change students' lives. It makes me feel so appreciative, so I really appreciate it. These teachers on the first day of school in the first week, they already are invested. For Katie Hines, who will start as a first year teacher teaching second grade at Bolton Elementary, that investment started years ago. Since I was young, I wanted to be a teacher. So me and my best friend used to teach in my basement, um, our siblings. And so now it's like, yay, get a real classroom. <laughs> yeah, big step up. From the classroom back to the classroom, this time teaching up front. This first year teacher is heading to sixth grade. If I think it will be nice to not bounce in teaching and school now. It'll be really good to just focus in on the classroom. Following the celebratory welcome, in school fashion, the new educators getting educated as they sat in on a keynote followed by informational and inspirational sessions for the district's new education orientation. We want them to leave confident and supported and know that people care about the work that they do in their classrooms. This morning, elementary educators are the ones inside today and tomorrow it's going to be secondary educators that take the place and get this warm welcome. For now, though, reporting in Farmington, I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News. Oh, welcome to all those teachers and we yeah. appreciate their efforts. We need them.